how you guys doing welcome back to the channel once again i'm hoping you're having a great day today and everything you try to accomplish this year it becomes into reality welcome welcome back it's been a minute i know it has but um here you go another diy do it yourself this is a 2001 toyota celica uh, I have bought this car to flip it, but I ended up selling it to my niece Because she didn't have a car at the moment to get around so I sold it to her so A couple of days ago. She called me and said that the key was not coming out at all Let me show you guys uh, Here it is So you guys see the key it doesn't want to come out It doesn't want to come out Okay, so I got a I got a new uh, new cylinder lock with the uh, Toyota two two keys made from Toyota. Um, I think I paid around 160 for the lock, and this is the part number. If you have a Toyota Celica, all right, you see it on top six nine zero five seven two zero four a zero. That's the uh, part number okay so that way you guys know what to get so it's not coming out you see that it's not coming out it, it cranks the car it cranks it up and everything but when you're trying to take it out you can take it out now here's the thing about this I'm about to uh, save you a couple of thousand dollars I don't know wherever you go they might charge you a lot of money to do this job but you can do it yourself all you need is a Phillips screwdriver, a short one like this or a long one. I don't have a long one right now, so I'm going to use this short one. This one works pretty good. And you also need a picker, one of these. All right. You might need it, you might not, because you can also poke poke the lock to come out with the, uh, um, with the Phillips screwdriver. Anyways, however... Toyota could not make me a key that matches my door locks. So instead of you paying the locksmith or whatever, I'm going to show you how to take this key out so that way you use this key to open your doors and lock your doors and why not. Remember, I did a lot of research. There's no videos that show you how to do this. And because I'm a very intelligent person, I'm a very smart person. I've been doing cars for a long, long time since I was in high school. You know, I'm a, I said, why not? Let me help you guys out, right? Like I always do. I always try to help out. And uh, I don't ask you nothing in return, but to subscribe to my channel, support my channel. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm asking you to do. All right, so let's go with the installation. In some parts, I'm going to have to put the phone down because I may need both hands to get it done. But since uh, we're already rolling, let's go. All right, so first thing you're going to do, you see the screw right here? Screw right here. I'm going to take it out, right? Fill up screwdriver. Take it out. I'm recording with one hand and using my other hand to do this for you guys. All right, there you go. it out now swing the steering wheel this way all right same thing fill up screwdriver and take it out the same way you take it out that's the same way you're gonna put it back on and the Georgia weather out here is just crazy keep the Sun keeps coming in and out it's been raining and it's been foggy but who cares we're gonna get to it i remember this car is back in the days everybody wanted one everybody was hungry to get one also guys there's another bowl down here down here where is it at let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, it goes right here. You see it in that hole? 
There goes another one. I already took it out. Now what you do, you put the steering wheel all the way down and lock it in place. And then you pop this open. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. All right, it looks like I'm gonna need both of my hands, so I'll be right All back. Right, so there you go. I was able to unlock it. I locked the unlock the bottom. Uh, um, I unlocked the top. The way you do the top is you grab it from right here, and then you swing this way. See that? I got it out. Now down here guys there's a little pin hold i'm about to show you hold on i brought my tripod but it broke it broke oh well i'll buy another one later all right so you see that pin hole right there right here this one that's where you're gonna poke with this with this or with the picker that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm gonna poke it out, right? See, I'm poking it out. And then you pull. It's not loose yet. Okay. All right, so I'll be right back. I need both of my hands to do it, and uh, I'll show you. All right, so here we go. So I got a good angle at the camera. There you go. See that? I got it out. That's how you got it out. And I'm going to show you how to take this key out. Your your cylinder lock looks like this. Are you looking at the uh, picture right here? Let me let me bring the camera outside so that way it'll be more clear. All right, we're at the light, right? All right, guys, it's getting darker. Uh, I hate the Georgia weather. It can never go uh, one one way your way. All right, so you see this? You see this, right? Let me show you. Man, it's kind of dark. I don't think you guys can see it. Anyways. In here. You see this right here? This one right here? This one, it's not going up anymore. It gets stuck. Look, it gets stuck. You see? That's why it doesn't want to let go of the key. You see that right so this is what you do to take the key out grab the picker and then when you turn when it's turned you give you give it a little extra push you help it and look it went back inside you saw that you saw that right it went back inside look now I can get the key out you see that this little click this little clip you see that little clip that's the one that you have to move. Look, I'm gonna do it again one more time for you guys. There you go. Now you turn and key is out. You see that? Now you have your door key and your trunk key that you can use. You don't have to pay for another one. All right? So back in the car now. Back in the car. Now you grab the new cylinder, the new cylinder, and you put it on there. Look, about to put it on there, and you get a good shot. Put it on there, push it in, and look, key comes out. All right, now it comes right out. All right. I'm done with the job. Now I'm putting everything back together the way it was. And that's how you solve the problem, all right? You cannot fix these uh, cylinder locks. There's no way you can fix it because to take this apart, you have to break this, 
you have to break that and to put it back together it's just pain in the butt uh, phone is just ringing but anyways guys if you guys like this video you guys like the details that i just showed you give this video a thumbs up all right like this video leave a comment most of the toyotas are the same thing um don't pay a locksmith four or five hundred dollars when you can just buy one of these cylinders and do it yourself this one is no good remember this is a 2001 so how many clicks and how many times you don't start the car up probably like a thousand times more than a thousand times so this is no good no more i'm gonna go ahead and throw it away and uh, that's it all right i'll see you on the next one i'm out peace